In today's video, I'm going to share with you the top 10 best selling books that I've made in KDP. So, this is the number 10 in my top 10 list. It's the Art Deco Planner for the year 2022. Now, this is one of a series of planners that I made in a few different styles. There were, you know, Art Deco, Steampunk, Cat, Dog. But the Art Deco one was the one that really took off. You can see it's just a standard description. And then I did change the theme for each of them. So for me cat one, I would change this to for every cat lover. You know, just just change the pertinent details, but the rest of it was the same. And then this is what it looked like inside. I designed most of it from scratch. This calendar here, I did just take from a Creative Fabrica template. But, you know, I changed all the fonts and tied it all into the Art Deco theme. The actual month pages, I did design myself in Affinity Publisher. These are just tables, and you know, I've, I've again tied into the niche with the background images that I used. These are just seamless patterns. I've got videos on how to create a seamless pattern. So I'll link to that in the description. I've also you know, got videos on how to make planners exactly like this. So again, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. But they are, are ideal books for quarter four. And very early quarter one. These are still selling you know, January, February time. You see there's the price there, $6.99 for 135 pages. Personally, you know, I think I'm underselling it. Because it did take a lot of effort. But once I once I had the initial designs made, you know, once I made the contact sheets, um, you know, this was already made for us. And the actual weekly layout of the planner, you know, all the rest of it is just decoration. So all of my other planners looked exactly the same apart from the font was different it was tied into that particular niche for cats dogs steampunk same with the background images and that didn't take much doing at all to be honest just you know a couple of clicks in the master page and and then i had completely different planners for the rest of the niches that i wanted to target this year I've also made some student planners in a very similar style. Again, go through the channel and you'll see a video how to make them. Number 9 on the list is another date themed book. This one's an appointments book for massage therapists. And this is a really simple interior. Again, that looks familiar, doesn't it? The contacts, contacts list is slightly different. And then the actual nuts and bolts of the book. Again, the layout difference. The, the day goes across the top of the double page. And the time is down the left-hand side. Now, what I should have done, and what I will do when I make these again, is these lines... Although they are handy for dividing the hour up into 15 minute slots, they're a bit too dark. I should have really made these lines a, a, a different shade of grey, you know, something lighter, maybe up the transparency of them. But that's one thing I would change from this. This layout, if I recall correctly, I kind of copied it from Creative Fabrica. I changed it a bit um, in particular with you know, these time slots uh, and spacings and things like that. You'll notice there's no adornments around the outside of the page so this sort of interior I did just hammer out a load of covers targeting different areas dog groomers, hairdressers, things like that. Again, the price is fairly low. And this is the description I used. Uh, again, 
very simple. I should probably make your more use of the description. And you know, occasionally I have on the back cover added pages, added images of the pages that you get inside, just so you know, for especially when you scroll on a mobile phone and you can't get the look inside feature, you can see what the pages look like. Number eight is one of the craft paper pads. Now you'll see a few of these on the top ten list because you know they are by far and away my best sellers. This one is just pictures of wooden planks. And it's just four designs, twenty sheets. Each design is, you know, copied five times or whatever. And it sold very well, particularly in the beginning when I was just starting out, you know, seven quid. Um, you get you know a couple of pounds profit on each book. The images I did take some photographs myself. I also found them on this is before the days of Creative Fabrica. So I also found them on other you know royalty free websites. I can't recall at the minute. Again, not a very detailed description. I, I thought it was important to put the word non perforated there because in doing my research, you know, I noticed that there were a lot of books being complained about because there was no the, the sheets weren't perforated, so you had to, you know, cut them out of the book. The next book on the list is another craft paper pad. This one is you know, Think of De Mayo. And it's actually got one written. See what that is? Nope. Just five stars. And again, it's a similar vibe. This one had eight designs over 40 sheets. Just nice little pages you can cut out and do, you know, decoupage or card making or use them as back and paper. An identical description. The subtitle here, you know, it's a bit long. Would I get away with that nowadays? I don't know. This one I'm selling for five ninety nine for some reason. I was experimenting with prices. Number six on the list is you've guessed it, another craft paper pad. This one is tree bark. Again, sold very well in the beginning. I don't know why that price has uh, changed from six ninety nine, but um, nothing to do with me. And again, you know, the four designs. Repeated over so many pages. Identical. introduction an identical description there and now we're into the top five so number five is my fashion sketchbook six different poses including plus size over 100 pages this is the female template i've done a male template and you know superheroes and things like that but this one is the best seller of this particular group i was heavily influenced in the cover design by the bestseller. Yeah, but I wasn't, I was inspired by it. I didn't lift it wholesale, I like to think. As you can see, some of this is off completely. Some of the layouts, it was made in Canva. This was before I had a designer or publisher, I think. And they are the images that I had on each page. I made them I made them quite transparent you know you know how you use a fashion book people will draw clothing on top simple book I got these templates from 
Creative Fabrica must have been. And again, a low price, 449. There's a fine balance between pricing them cheap, but getting lots of sales, or you know, putting them at a couple of pounds more, and not selling so many. I've been experimenting with them, and to be honest, I've found that things like my craft book, my well, I'll show you the, the top selling book I've got on here is a six ninety nine book. And I sell similar books for four four ninety nine they don't sell as well. So I think if the if they sell then they sell. You know, there's no rhyme or reason to it. This one is a bit more detailed in the description. And four forty nine. I think if I was to sell that, I would I would maybe make you know, sixty pence. Maybe it's it's not a lot of money. Number four on the list is a, another is another appointments book. This one's for hairstylists. Stylists only two stars. One five one one. You can't please everyone. And this one is identical. To the massage book, exactly the same interior, you know, four ninety nine. No real effort has gone into distinguishing this book from from another book. But sorry, right, it sold fairly well at the beginning of the year, and also you know, sold a few late last year. I had several books with the same interior and you know just a slightly different cover this image i probably got from creative fabrica in fact i definitely got it from creative fabrica slapped it on the cover added appointment book in 2022 and again a bit more a bit more detail in the um description Four ninety nine though, very cheap. These sort of books, they are popular, but you've you've got to really hit the Christmas and New Year period running. You've got to have these up and ready to go, so people can buy them straight away. Because when it comes to you know February into March, you might sell a couple, but then that's it. You won't sell many at all for the rest of the year, and that's it. That's that's that gone. You can't just stick another cover on this and hope it'll. You can't just put a new co cover saying 2023 because all of these dates are wrong. Now I have updated this into a 2023 planner, uh, into a 2023 important date sheet, which I can use in next year's planners. And also I've got them in my academic planners, which I am designing and releasing as we speak. Number three on the list is another craft paper pad. This one is for coffee lovers. These are just seamless patterns that I've either made myself or downloaded straight from Creative Fabrica. The link to Creative Fabrica is, is in the description below. If you you know use that link, I get a couple of quid. I think if you uh, if you buy stuff, that's it. Very simple. Five ninety nine, um, but it sells really well because this is in colour, and it was before they did the standard colour. This is just premium because that's all there was, so the printing's more expensive, which is why I can get six or seven quid for you know a, a forty-page book. Again, a very very simple description. I use. Um, tangent templates and they've got a really good listings helper where if you can do a series of books that are all similar you can get your description your keywords the categories you know, author name things like that all set up so you just click a button and it and it loads in that's it there list helper i will um i'll probably do a video on that separately 
Number two. Another craft paper pad. Identical description. You'll notice all the covers are the same as well. Bar the occasionally the outer. I've changed the colour of the outer frame. And the text in the middle changes of course to uh, explain what's in the in the book. But it's like this is really all about just making the, the process of making books and uploading books as close to being automatic as possible. What I tend to do is I tend to get a lot of images that I can group together in themes and then when I'm in I made this cover in Canva in Canva so I'll have a, a, a template like this and I'll just drag the images in download you know and then for the next book drag the new images in change the title download it takes seconds to do it's the same with the books when I'm making the books I was making them originally in publisher I got the same as pattern either stretched it out to the size of the page or I put the image as the actual background of the page you know, made the four or five individual pages and then duplicated it down the bottom uh, duplicated it until I had the desired amount of you know, 40 sheets and then downloaded it and then I'd do the same again with the next book just you know, pull the four images in I want change this heading card duplicate it, download it and that's where you know tangent template comes in I fill in all the details and then when I come to upload the book I just click this select my uh, there's a drop down menu select that for my listings template and then I just go through and change the bits so you know out of the 80s I'll delete that and put in you know coffee lovers craft paper whatever really really simple and I've sold a lot of these books 5 99 you know a pound odd profit not too bad and no surprises this is my best-selling book it's a very early one I only oh, let's have a think I started in maybe January 2020 late January and I made this you know maybe two weeks after I started and this one over 50% of the books I've, I sell are this one here 6 .99, you know you can see it's still part of the template the previous book had craft paper pad out of the 80s you know, just change that put, put steampunk in and you've got the you've got your title sword again it's the same with this four images repeated five times you know each alternate page is blank so you know the the image is backed by a blank page and that's it really simple just to you know pull the images in create a new cover Now, if I'm honest, I haven't really done many of these books for a while. In fact, I haven't really uploaded many books on KDP until I've started doing the planners. Um, my girlfriend makes similar books. Like, she goes through fits and starts like me. She's just knocked out, you know, maybe 10, 10 or 15 of these sort of books over the last week. And she's, she's selling them already. And she charges eight ninety nine for hers, which you know makes me cry a little bit. But her her covers are much better than mine. I've sh I've shown them before in the past. Look through the channel for for examples of um, the books that she's made. And yeah, she's getting nine pound, exactly the same book. It's just a much better looking cover. That's my weakness cover. I'm not the best cover designer, but you know, I'll get there. I'll try. It's all about learning as you go along, learning to improve certain aspects of you know your design. Right now, I can design excellent interiors, 
whereas before I was just trying to get them from Creative Fabrica and editing them a little bit now I'm making them from scratch and you know, I don't think you'll find many better especially for the planners because I did I put a lot of effort into them so that is it for today's video I hope you found it useful and I hope it gives you some kind of idea as to what might sell all of the books I have in this top 10 I've shown you how to make through the channel so just go through my videos and you'll find out exactly how easy it is to make something like this and if you make a nice cover you can sell it for nine pounds thanks for watching please do like the video comment and subscribe to the channel it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it and i shall see you next time <laughs>